When Debbie and I first met back at seminary, Denver Seminary, back in the late 70s, early 80s, I had already been interested in missions, okay? Debbie came, well, Debbie will tell her story. But as I came to Denver Seminary, I came to be trained as a pastor. But I, I realized that I was, as I was at seminary, that once again, billions of people don't know Jesus, and we're not okay with that. So way back then, it was this idea that overseas and many different countries, people will not have an opportunity to hear the good news of Jesus Christ unless somebody from another culture or another area go in and bring the gospel to them. So that stirred my heart. And as I prayed and as, as I sought the Lord, it seemed like God was saying, Michael, yes, I want you to be a missionary. It just so happened that at that time, there was this man, his name is, or was, Ray Buecher. And we had been getting this little prayer folder, you know, on a regular basis, praying for that. And um, I saw that, hey, they're looking for a couple to work with this unreached Muslim tribe in Kenya, East Africa. Maybe that's us. Well, Ray Buecher being the very um, good man that he is and um, intentional man that he is, he would call us, you know, early in the morning, seven in the morning, six in the morning, before we take off of classes. And he encouraged us to make the application, and we did. And we met also the other couple that were going to be missionaries with the Digo people. We went to their place in Arizona, met them. It just seemed like God opened door after door as we sought Him, as we wanted to bring the good news of Jesus Christ to people. He just opened door after door as we prayed. He opened the door for us. I would say that my recruitment started way back when um, I came to know the Lord post-college, after I graduated college, and when some Christians started sharing about Jesus being the only way, I thought, that, that's so not fair because there's so many people that have never heard about him. So yeah, that's just not a very fair God. And then the more that we talked, the more I knew that Jesus is who he says he is and that he does have a love for the world. And when I came to know him, when he apprehended my heart, he put that back into my heart too, his love for the world. And so I left my job, which I had loved. I was working as a recreational therapist. I loved it. But I felt that the Lord wanted me to go and share that with others that have never had a chance to hear. So I went to Denver Seminary, and there in systematic theology, I met this New Yorker, and <laughs> that's all history. But God just put it on both of our hearts to go to unreached peoples that have never had a chance to hear. So that's how it started. And there were lots of mission organizations back then. There's even way more now. But um, yeah, World Venture just really seemed to stick out for us for the way that their passion for reaching the lost and their uh, way of helping train us to go. So yeah, that's how we ended up being recruited by Ray Buecher and Ray Buecher. World Venture. Uh, another thing about World Venture is that um, as we were at seminary, Denver Seminary, I did some research and I researched the five top missions, you know, and as we researched the mission we're with, that I realized, well, they have, um, they're really sharp with a number of different um, programs or departments and we realized this is a good mission to go with, we're now called World Venture.